Hey, what's going on? Oh, Zombies in the background, like poofy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Matt Rivera here, and we're on the property. Boom. Half acre plot. My brother Christian, he's inside the van getting ready. We're going to start digging. We're going to start putting shovels to the ground and really just trying our best to clear a path so we could uh, start, start living out here, you know? The goal is to kind of create a homestead that goes zombie. <whistles> Come here, boy. Come here, boy. He's just doing he's just doing his business. But the plan is to like create like a homestead so we can live out here in the desert and just look how peaceful this place is. We're pretty far away from the city. There's all mountains back there. Like it's a beautiful scenery, beautiful shot. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but there's cars driving by. The main road's about two and a half miles that way. So, got some gorgeous mountain landscape over here. This is really the, the dream. This is really the dream to to be living out here in the desert, like on our own, off grid, completely. So, I guess it all starts with putting shovels to the ground. You know, really putting in the work. This is what it's all about. You know, creating your own. So this way, the future generations, the future family, you know, can can enjoy this. You know. So, I guess we'll start by walking around and taking a look at the property. So this is the dirt road, right? My property starts from the goes zombie. Hey zombie! So that post that fell over right here, that's one corner of the property. The van where the doors are at right there, that's the other corner of the property. And way back there, like right about there, is another coast post. So it's a pretty, pretty big property, a good sized plot, you know. Like I said, 0.52 acres, so a little over half an acre. And uh, we're really gonna make it work, man. We're gonna, we're gonna make this home, home base, a home team. This way. Good boy. So as you can tell, Christian's monitoring the fire. Saving the hell of his time trying to get these mesquite trees out. Mesquite bushes or whatever, so we're lighting a fire. Trying to see if we can get these things burnt down. So they won't grow when, when it comes time for uh, summer and spring and stuff. But as you can tell, right now I'm working on this little spot right here. We're trying to make a clear path, driveway area, kind of. Right here, between these two mesquite bushes right over into this plot of land. Boom, like that. Hey zombie. All this right here is kind of where we're gonna be settling in at for the most part. The back part of the property, that post all the way back there and there's a post all the way back there almost where that tower is at. I don't know if you can see it, but all that's gonna be kind of like still desert, untouched land, but with time, we'll get it all down and we'll make it into a farm. And for a few years, this will we'll call this home. All right, so look at the progress so far. Say hi, Chris. Ah! <laughs> look at that. Yeah, yeah, almost a clear path between these two berms. This is coming out nicely. I mean, nicely, I think we got more done today than we did last time we were out here for like four hours. Actually, let's be honest, it was like it was like two hours, but it was it was like the summer. You know what I mean? It was already hot. Yeah. Today is today's around like what 70, 69 degrees right now? Nice 67, 68 degrees. 68 degrees. Like around 68, 67 degrees. Really nice weather. Ain't that right, zombie? You loving it? Good boy. Good man. Yeah, good boy. Just watch your step. Good boy. Okay. Playing with fire. Like a real arsonist. <laughs> so you can see how this area is all patchy, high grass, like just really nasty and then this is what I've been working on 
as you can tell, this is all smooth. It looks a lot better. That's one pile I have right there, and then there's another pile I have right there down that hill. And then I have that pile. Oh, almost set myself on fire. I'm in the direction of the flame. Whew, that went Ooh, the way. That was hot. I have one pile right there, and that's one berm we need to take care of to really clear out this driveway. So we're working on it, one step at a time, baby. Shake and bake. This is just a rabbit leg that was found on the floor. I don't know if my dog found it in the desert and brought it to the road, but I just found it right here on the road. It's laid about, a little rabbit leg. All blowing crazy. <sighs> That's life out here in the desert, man, you know? Oh wow, it's recording in my pocket. <laughs> Alright, so I guess now is a better time than any to get a little update. Christian's down there, so at the front of the property. Uh, it's another burn pile. We, for the most part, cleared out this entire spot. Nice and smooth. Looks good. Next time we come, I'll work on this part. But it's not really a priority, this front part right here. I just want to clear out this side so we could park a vehicle right here on the side of the road if we needed to. And then we're clearing out this middle part where Christian's walking around at so we could uh, go in there, pull a vehicle in. That's why I'm doing this. I'm just kind of leveling the road out so this way we can have a clear shot straight through. This berm right here with all the mesquite, right here we're going to make sure that we uh, get rid of that. All right, guys, so we've been out here a little over three hours. We got this, uh, this berm with all this mesquite burned. It's almost done. We're just going through making sure it's burned all the way through. You know, taking care of it step by step. This is all cleared right here for the most part. Freaking the driveway, if I walk this way. And then I turn around. The driveway for the most part is nice and fucking smooth. It's been a smooth job just rolling in. We had to get rid of that berm that's burning right now because, as you can tell, it's in the way of my driveway. But for the most part, this property is looking good. Next time we come, we're gonna clear this field. Follow my fingers, right here, all the way here. The back berms that I'm worried about right now, but for the most part, it's just this field in the front. That'll be our next project at hand. All right, guys, so we're done for the day. We did a lot. I wanna thank my brother Chris for coming out to help me clear the land. Major, major fucking help. Like, if he wasn't here, I don't even think I'd have this whole front part done. Like, probably have half of it done, you know? So let me show you more or less what we did. Good boy. So right here is the marker where our land starts. We cleared all of this front part. We can't get that. That's all mesquite bush. We cleared all this front part. And we cleared one small berm that had a mesquite bush. We did that bad boy on fire. He's actually covering up the spot where he used to be at right now. Because as you can tell, it's all smoothed out, it's all clear, freaking, he's clearing it out. We cleared this spot out a little bit, so if I want to actually, I can actually pull in here with my vehicle now and feel comfortable knowing that, you know, it's cleared and we can park here safely, you know? And there goes Zombie, marking his territory. That's right, boy. So for the most part, you can see over there how like it used to look with all that grass and, and shrubs and all this like that. And then over here, how it kind of looks now. I know it looks like a whole, whole, whole sand pit, but with time, we'll turn this place into a little uh, desert oasis. It's gonna look beautiful. So, it's a Sunday, we, woke, we went to church today. So I wanna thank God for giving us the strength and the opportunity to come out here to the land and to accomplish so much without having any issues. We didn't run into any wildlife. No bees, bugs, or any, or any problem like that. No, it's a beautiful day. So, thank God for that. You know, I know the, the day of the Sabbath, you're supposed to like rest and relax, but you know, God's been telling me to come out here and work in the land. So, I gotta, gotta go where God sends me. So, thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Please subscribe if you wanna follow along with our journey. I'm Matt Rivera. Y'all take care.